Hi Church, my name's T, I'm part of our North location. Um, hope this finds you well whatever time of day you're watching it and I'm really honoured to be speaking to you today about communities. So when I was asked to complete this devotion, um, obviously I spent some time thinking about what community meant to me and what uh, communities I was part of and I would encourage you at some part some point today to do the same to have a think about what communities you're involved in in your life what I would say is whatever those communities look like uh, one thing is absolutely certain God designed us to live in community together we were never designed to live alone and to live in isolation he God designed us to thrive in relationship and fellowship with one another to be there to hold each other up and support each other during times of sadness and difficulty, but also to cheer each other on and celebrate each other during times of success and joy. Hebrews 12.4 tells us we're better together than alone. And it's absolutely so true. I know for myself and my family, since joining Audacious North and being part of those real life-giving uh, communities, we have really flourished and found a place where we belong. One of the definitions from the dictionary for community is a group of people living in the same place or having a particular characteristic in common. So when we think about communities, we have our church community and then our thoughts may go straight to say for example our neighbours because it's like the immediate vicinity but there's also lots of other communities we're part of whether it's our sports team whether it's school community a mum's group lots of different ones there's also uh, with the advancement of technology and especially because of lockdown so many online communities now there's a huge online gaming community i've got friends that are part of that and have real uh, you know significant friendships with other online gamers um there's i've got friends who who join pub quizzes during lockdown and continue to do them because the people they met are throughout the country but they absolutely love them and they get so much from them and we've got online church i know during lockdown that was a, a it was just a lifeline for me because I was isolating for so long. That just made such a difference that I could access online church and still feel part of the community. The really wonderful thing about being in communities is that we have the chance to reflect the love and the light of Jesus in those that we're involved in. And we get to bring Jesus into those communities our actions speak volumes about who we belong to. So just by going into our communities and being the person that maybe organises things or that checks in on people, people will start to think, oh, what is it that's different about them? And we know what's different about us. You know, we belong to Jesus and we are reflecting his light, his love, and we are vessels for him to bring people to him. There's also another on, another huge community, probably the majority of us have, and that's um, social media platforms. We can have such an influence in those communities by reflecting joy and happiness and positivity into the world. I know through my own um, and people commenting after I've shared stuff about church, people saying, your church looks really good fun tell me about Jesus, tell me about what happens with the kids in church, that now actually people that I don't know personally follow Audacious Online, have been to Luminous and invited friends to Luminous, have um, asked me about uh, first prayer books for children. So you don't know who you're reaching, but you can have an amazing impact on those communities. Hebrews 12, 24 tells us, and let us consider how we must spare one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging each other. And that's what I'd like to encourage you today to do. What difference are you making in your communities to, to meet up, to keep meeting up with people? During the Jubilee, I organised a street party for some of our neighbours. 
uh, we kind of know most people because I'll be honest, I um, I make it my job to know people. I go and introduce myself and um, if somebody new moves in, I go and take some goodies. So, um, you know, I, I like people to know they can come to us if they need anything. But I was really aware that some people don't on our road. So I organised a street party and one of our neighbours in particular does live quite isolated and does live alone. Uh, and I'm always very conscious of that. And I wondered whether she'd come, but she did. And I was really overjoyed. And then especially when she developed a really good relationship with somebody else, one of the other neighbors. And several months on as we are now, I'm thrilled that these two people now have days out together, coffee mornings. They have a really lovely relationship and that has improved our community since then people are going out saying morning to each other knowing people's names talking to each other and that actually builds a community of love and wanting to help each other and that's what we should really be a part of and i would actually encourage you as well to not think well I won't, I'll have something, but I won't invite the people at number eight because they take my parking space. Or I won't invite the people at number 10 because they play the music so loud, so loud. John 13, 34 tells us, a new commandment I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. Now it's easy to think, well, love one another. Yeah, you know, I can love the people I like, but Jesus doesn't say that. He says, as I have loved you, love, you must love one another. And that's, he loves us unconditionally, regardless. He sees all of our faults, our, our sins, everything we've done, and he loves us unconditionally. And that is what he's saying. The one thing with certain communities or certain groups is they may have a limit. You know, only 30 people are allowed to join or only 15 people are allowed to join. The wonderful thing with the community of God is there are no upper limits and we want to invite people and we want to be that difference that people we will change our local communities and people will be thinking what is the difference with that person what is the drive behind them I want to know more another dictionary definition for community is a unified body of individuals such as people with common interests. Now, um, the other week I messaged um, somebody from church. I noticed that they hadn't been for a few weeks. So I just sent them a message basically checking in, say, is everything all right? I've noticed you've not been at church for a few weeks. And they responded with, yes, I'm fine. I'm just really surprised that I was missed. Romans 12, 5 says, so in Christ, so as in Christ, we, though many, form one body and each member belongs to one another. You know, like our own bodies, if something was missing in it, we'd, no we'd notice. And I just encourage you today, church, thinking about communities and thinking about church communities as I said, to be that change, to be that light. Look around you and think, I haven't seen that person or that person hasn't been for a few weeks or I haven't seen my neighbour for a, a couple of weeks. I'll knock on and see if there's anything okay. We all have the opportunity to help build our community in church and out of church. We all have the opportunity to be the change, to be the light and be the vessel that brings people to Jesus. So I just encourage you to think about your communities and just think how you could have that positive impact. And I just pray now for every person who's listening for their family and for their friends. And as they go about this week, that they just have their eyes open to the communities that are around them and that they help and that they're vessels to help bring people by their actions and by their love and by their good deeds in their communities to Jesus in your mighty name. It's been great speaking to you, church. Hope you have an amazing day. Take care.